and we need to do that before. Could it? Could he have been? He seems capable with a gun. Could he have been that shot at Nat? I guess he wouldn't know Nat. I don't think so. Tigran will say. Okay. He would have had to have known our weaknesses, which I don't even know if he had silver on him now. You're right. He doesn't. He still looks to be trying to find answers. About yeah, well, I think I'm we would have been dead if it was him. I'm afraid that Turgon is going to get him before us. Okay, yeah, we need to reach out to him. Um, he didn't seem to respond too well to you, Matt. <laughs> <sighs> he didn't see Finn human form, I think, so... Finn is on a little dose, so we will go to him. Okay. Tegan goes, is that, that a great idea? <laughs> Last time Finn kind of handled him not the best. Yeah. Um, well, this time it better has to handle him. He's um, understood. It might be best to talk to him in a place he feels comfortable. Yes. Um, we'll just... We'll contact him in... He's a policeman, so we'll contact his... Guess we'll go to the police station where he feels safe and go to talk to him. All right. Sounds good. Victor looks a little like, uncomfortable with that idea. I mean, um, it, doesn't say, it doesn't say anything. Fear will <laughs> wait. All right, Finn, you make it to the Immortal Dragons, the edge of their territory. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to announce my presence. And you going uh, to howl? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to find a a, a spot out of the land site. Um, go to. Actually, no, I'm already still in Ilhan, aren't I? So I'm just going to howl and then shift to his shoe and, and go back into the open street waiting for where the immortal dragons are. I don't know where the dojo is, but like I'm just kind of like pre-announcing because the last time we left was uh, not ideal. So you're like howling and then going on to their territory? No, I'm basically... Uh, I imagine that I'm like at, at the border of the territory. I'm going to howl uh, in a location which is out of line of sight. And then change and just to wait. And then change to tissue, and then I'm going to start very slowly approaching uh, the, the the dojo. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fearful of them like attacking other hunters, but I'm still kind of like pre-announcing the presence so that they're not like, you know, because again, like we left under bad circumstances. Mm-hmm. Uh, within minutes. Uh... Two of them will approach. You'll see Kenneth and uh, Carrie approaching. Carrie looks kind of apprehensive, but Kenneth is whispering into her ear. It almost looks like he's trying to calm her down. I'll add them both to... They're both added, actually. Yeah, I see him. Uh, Finn's going to uh, put his hands in his pockets and uh, just kind of wait for them to approach him now. Kenneth will look at Carrie kind of like a hard way, like you understand, and she'll nod. And he'll approach to open her, his mouth, and then she'll go, so where's the asshole? And he looks like mortified, like, God damn it, Carrie. But he doesn't say anything. Finn is going to stare right down at Carrie. And he's going to just growl, gone. Carrie smiles. Good. And then turns to Kenneth and goes, okay, I'm quiet this time, I promise. <laughs> and Kenneth kind of sighs and goes, what's going on, Finn? Uh, too much. Mm -hmm. But the reason I'm here now is because something new has shown up that is a threat to every pack in the area. He raises an eyebrow. 
goes, okay, tell us what you know. Well, to cut a long story short, there's this um, kind of, I guess, freelance pack of, I think they're ghost wolves that showed up. They're not the issue, though. The issue is the person with a sniper rifle loaded with silver bullets who killed one of his pack. And it sounds especially like we have some kind of very high-level hunters in the area. Kenneth will take the news with uh, kind of a stoic uh, face and go, this isn't the best news, but we haven't encountered anyone. Mm. Thank you for the warning. We'll keep an eye out. If we hear something, I'll give you a call. There is uh, <clears throat> one thing as well. Um, apart from what you know about these, uh, these guys with silver, we're trying to work with the um, the Laughing Wolves right now to try and deal with the Bishalu and Azlu situation. Kenneth opens his mouth, but Carrie gets there first. She goes, you're working with that pack? And she says it in a tone of complete disbelief. I'm not sure if they see it as working. It's more like working towards a similar goal as whilst it's uh, our trajectories of line, I guess. They're not the friendliest, I'll admit, but as long as Her... you're careful around them, I don't think they're too bad. Her voice kind of takes on a conspiratorial tone as she lowers it and goes, I'm pretty sure, though, their totem is a spirit of murder. So... You know, you do you, but be careful. And Kenneth goes, Carrie, that's enough. I will talk to Dan if you don't learn to keep your mouth shut. And she looks at him with kind of a flash of anger, but wilts and stops talking. Final smile. She's got a spirit. He anyway, um, the point being that I'm basically um, just letting you know that if there's anything which uh, you guys might know or might uh, want to help out with regards to the, the Shatha, basically, um, that's kind of what our main objective is right now. Although the hunters, they're the, they're the thing that's got me really worried because as far as I know, no other, no other member of the people have been killed here recently, so that's the biggest threat. Okay, I thought I'd go. We have no intention of helping you with your territory's problems, but the hunters do sound like a threat to us all. We have no issues with any hosts on our territory. He says it kind of with a note of pride, though he masks it like, "Ha, huh, we're better than you." But <laughs> Fuck but Jones. he'll say, "We uh, <laughs> we definitely will take keep a watch out on, for any of the hunters and get news back to you if there's something we find." I appreciate it. Um, that being the case, do you want to share content details this time? Because I know that last time, well, again, we kind of got rid of that guy. Oh, right. And he's going to text you. You, you never gave him your number, but kind of texts you from his phone. And you get a number you've never had saying, hey, this is Kenneth. And he goes, there, you have my number. Finn's going to look at his phone, look up at Kenneth, back at his phone, look at Kenneth. Smart. What? Oh, you didn't save it last time, he says? You surely must have gotten my number. I surely must have given it to you. I don't recall. Yeah, fair enough. And he'll just say, well, if you could please escort yourself off, I have to go talk to our alpha now. All right. See you later. Final, uh, excuse himself back out of the territory. He's being very, right. very uh, professional right now. Yep, you leave off the territory. Terry kind of follows you to the boundary, and seeing you're gone, she'll turn and walk back to the uh, dojo. Careful girl. Um, let's just check. Do we? Do we did we get a phone number for the Laughing Wolves? I forget. Yeah, I do. Yep, yeah, you did. You you exchanged numbers with the Khan. 
Yeah, I'm going. To, in that case, I'm going to return to our territory. I'm actually going to call up um, Khan whilst on the way. Uh, the silent kind of passive voice of Khan answers. Hello. Hello. It's uh, it's Finn here. The uh, what do we call what do we call ourselves again? Like, do, can I, what's our pack name? You're the bar guest. The bar guest was the oh, last damn it. one. That I haven't this changed the name. This it, yeah. <laughs> it's the um, elder from the bar guest here, Finn. Um, got some dangerous news for you. Dangerous. That sounds interesting. Well, which one do you want first? The host news or the human news? I care whether, not which you choose to bless me with first. We took a look at uh, Asdu's base operations. It uh, seems to have a lot of tunnels underneath it. Probably been stuck in there for quite a while. Gauntlet is really really strong but sounds like aslu he says mm -hmm. we're gonna try to figure out a way to uh identify which of their numbers are the most dangerous there and eliminate them first but there's another issue which is actually more dangerous to us specifically to me to the people i see a ghost wolf recently got their brains blown out by a silver bullet from a sniper rifle. Where? It's a, a location actually on our territory, but it's a seems to be a group of hunters. And knowing hunters, they probably won't just stick to our territory alone. So I'm letting local packs know that uh, we have an issue. Khan will take a second go. So you had a werewolf on your territory who was killed by hunters on your territory. They didn't exactly have our permission to be in our territory, but we were a bit busy God. with the Aslu. Damn it. Then he shouldn't have been, Khan says. It's I agree. You are focusing too much on one issue. Still, it doesn't bother us how bad your territory is. I didn't think it would. But what should bother you is the threat of hunters. It doesn't either. I'm not worried about humans who have no business being here being here. If they are, we'll kill them like any other interloper. Very well. I expect that you have your way of doing things. I just thought that I'd keep you informed. And you have. If there's nothing else that uh, you wish to discuss in turn, I'll let you get back to your own pack matters. Very well. And then there's a click of the phone being hung up. That guy's creepy. Hannibal Lecter creepy. Uh, Finn's just going to turn and back then into you the... see a text. If you look over in Roll20's chat, you'll see a text that's been sent by Matthew. No. Misheard that for a second. I thought you meant the Discord. Uh... <laughs> for a, a brief moment, a look of abject terror just flashes across Finn's face, followed by a even more terrible realization. Oh, fuck. Did I do that? <laughs> He's going to text back. Um, yeah. There's a good chance that I may have inflicted lunacy upon the guy. We need to talk to him quickly. Yes, um, go meet us at the police station. You're gonna do the talking. Fun. He's gonna change direction for the, the station. All right. 
Uh, Nat, what is you and the remainder of your pack doing? And I will go back to Nat uh, before going to the police station to say. So we have some some issues to deal with right now. What are what are your plans for you and your pack? I think at this point we've probably got the back of the truck open, and well, you probably see the the wrapped up figure laying in the middle between all the seats, but the rest of us are girding up for war. Um, at this point, Victor will step in and say, um, "I have a plan for him, if you don't mind. Um, we need to." scope out these hunters as soon as possible these potential hunters um, how about this how about you get in the truck and we will drive you to the area and you can observe it from the truck which is safe <sighs> the truck isn't that safe i mean it's a it's a sore thumb sticking out in the area yes but it is heavily armored Incapable of withstanding quite the punishment before, I think, more punishment than they can deal out before we can get away. For now, I would prefer if you don't go back kicking that nest right now. I understand you want vengeance for your fallen, and completely agree on that, but right now we have... <sighs> Matthew, there is nothing more important than this hunter. This cop yes, isn't I know, important. but we have... We need to regroup. We're not even in a full pack. Theo is still missing. If if we give them time to sink sink slink away, we might not find them until they next strike. Take they a know nod to that. Know where they are. All right. At the same time, Tigran will say, "I may be on the." Uh, side of Matthew and regrouping too. I see wisdom in both options. It could be that they have now tasted blood and be uh, and are girding themselves up ready for another assault. I don't know. He just shakes his head. I, I leave right. it to the Alpha. Victor, I want you to go with Nat and he's back. And what? With Nat and he's back. And observe. Okay. Understood. Um, we'll, we will not engage. Yes, please do not engage. Um, yeah, uh, I understand. And we're meeting at this coordinate from now on. And I'm just sending the coordinate to myself, please. Okay. Got it. Quick question. Can Shokano um, get essence from my locus? On... Uh, it, he can, but it wouldn't be one he would do a lot of yeah. getting from, because it could alter what he is, and he does not want to become an abomination. Yeah. But like for emergency, like taking occasionally wouldn't be too bad. It'd just be essence that doesn't interest him. And it, but it would be like it'd be like one of those emergency. I had to do it real quick to get something. And he, yeah. he's not really in an emergency, so it's fine. You could no. also just pick up the locust in the warehouse and drag it with you. Right. Yeah, I mean. We never nailed down what the locust was, just that it was representing the concept of war. It could have been, it could be just like a, an old munitions round or some part of a machine. It, it really is up to, it's really up to you. I mean, some locusts can be mobile. Well, can this one be? Just for the sake, I won't, we haven't really hammered it down. I won't be something you carry around with you, but we'll have it that you guys take it and move it to your apartment. That yeah, made, uh, well, Tigran, I will ask Tigran to take care of that right now. And question, uh, question about totems. 
Yes. Are they eminently always visible, or...? To you, I mean, to werewolves, because... Unless they're in the shadow, and then they're visible in the shadow. Uh, werewolves can see all spirits in their twilight form, not that they can touch them. I'm gonna tell you so I'm just, I'm just asking that yeah. if our group is there, our totem would also be visible, right? Oh. Yeah, you can see their totem, a giant tank rolling around, and they can see your totem as well. Okay. What's your totem, then? Uh, our totem is, I guess, I guess he'd just appear as a, a soldier, just another one of the troops. Huh. I mean, do you want to make that hand out visible, too? The, the, I would say the stuff is in the, uh, the GM notes, so they wouldn't be able to see that, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You just see what the totem looks like. All right. Just so yeah, Tigran will. Tigran mission is to go um, transport the locust to my safe place, and I will go to the police station while Vic is going with that. All right, Finn and Matt, you approach the police station, which uh, currently isn't too busy. It looks like the officer on duty meeting with people. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot of people in line, so you're pretty much able to get through quickly up to the front. As you approach, he goes, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, we would like to see a certain officer, and I will nudge a bit Finn, because I forgot his name. Officer Gray, Tim Gray. Ah, yeah. Um, Officer Gray has... Uh... We're doing some pretty good work uh, in our, t in our uh, part of the neighborhood recently, and uh, we'd uh, like to uh, meet him properly and uh, thank him for his work. <laughs> Can I? Oh, uh, you guys didn't hear. Hear yeah, what? The Detective Gray turned in his resignation a couple of days ago. He hasn't been here for at least that long. His stuff's already gone. Oh. Well, thank you, Ben. Hmm. Odd, we uh, saw him recently. Come, Finn. <laughs> Out of care to say, like, come, Finn. <laughs> Stop just on, boys. <laughs> yes, my master. <laughs> just... Yeah, um, yeah, no, Finn will walk up like that's uh, odd. All right, he's found out where he lives, though, or if he still does live in I can. the house of Pablo, isn't it? I can, but I'm afraid if he's uh, working with Hunter or he's gonna shoot me on sight. Bentley has been following us for quite some time, so that's always fun. Sounds like he's confused, and he can't be working with Hunter if he doesn't know what he is or what we are. All right, well, go, going to track him right now, but except they're the friends. Uh, what are you going to do a tracking roll? Huh? Are you going to go track him from the warehouse now, or what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to use impossible spot to track him for. Okay, like are you going to do so in Hishu? Uh, yes, because I'm afraid if he, if he saw me in Dalu, he's going to shoot. Okay, uh, roll wits plus streetwise plus your form bonus. Um, wait. Wits. Uh... Can I uh, help with the truck and roll as well? You can make a separate roll. I usually don't allow teamwork for tracking. Okay. Um, this no, you know what? I mean, if you're going to... I'll let it go. I don't see too much. Oh, never. It doesn't oh, really matter. Oh, sorry. I use chance dice. Yeah. Yeah. You can... And that's free. That's fine. 
He'll he'll Probably. pick up the scent regardless, so it doesn't matter. Um, I was talking to Finn about letting him add dice to your dice pool for tracking. Oh. But um, you'll begin picking up the scent and following it. At that time, Nat, you're, how far are you parking away your armored vehicle from the warehouse? Not. not. We're passing through. You're basically just going to roll by it and then... Yeah, we're going to do a circle of the area. So that you can get a full-on view of what's going on around there. And then we'll circle back out again. I mean, what's the point of bringing an armored carrier for safety if the fact we're going to get out and just go there? It's not safe at all. Okay, that's fair. Um, so you start circling it. Victor, go ahead and roll perception. Minus two. Okay. Roll Sadie's too, because you know, Sadie's there. Yes, of course. And Sadie gets to add her specialty. Oh, beautiful. What was the minus one for? Because it was Because he had a two. minus two, but since he's in issue, he normally gets a plus one. Oh. All right, so you'd see just a bunch of guys um, unloading and offloading cargo in a supposedly shut down warehouse. And Sadie's hackles rise up and she starts growling, looking at this warehouse. That's not good. Um, wait, she can, oh yeah, I see what, okay. Um... Yeah, you're in tune with her. You know why she does this. She doesn't do right. this for much of anything else but the hosts. Right. All right. So we definitely activity, don't we, girl? Um, that's good. Kind of. Hosts working with silver, or maybe manipulate. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take a closer look. Um, let me out. I mean, get out. Well, you'd have to, I'm just, I'm just waiting for him to stop the vehicle. So, um, I mean, it seems better to me if we just slow down a little bit. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it seems more obvious if we just stop and let somebody well, I out. We wouldn't, I would wait for us to, like, get away from the area and then double back. Yeah, we'll just uh, round a corner, and in that slow bit where we're rounding the corner, you can just jump out. That sounds good. Yeah. And then I will... Is Sadie coming with you? Yes. Okay. Um, I know retainers have a habit of dying around here, so it's very, very worrying, but... Um... I'm going to keep to alleys, sort of, switch to Urhan. Um, Trying to stealthily make your way up? Yes. Roll dex plus stealth for both you and Sadie. Cool. I'm going to spend my last little power because I need to not die. Wow, these rolls are not nice today. And Sadie. Nothing to see there, huh? Not a God thing. Damn it, Sadie. I mean, to be fair, though, Sadie gets seen. It's just a dog, right? Yeah, it's not like they expect things. That the, I'm sure they're persuasion. very concerned about anything canine. At the same time, 
people around here gotta own dogs, right? Fair. But usually they're not alone walking the alley. Fuck it, shoot every dog we see. These hunters are not very popular. <laughs> So you, <laughs> you're like, God damn it, Sadie, hold on a second. Can Sadie willpower? Uh, no. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, I'm not now, I mean, but like, can, is it a thing she can do? No, I'm saying maybe if you would spend a willpower on her behalf, but. Okay. Um, I would, well, would that I would also fall that. under willpower per turn? Yes. Because she has eight. Seven willpower by stats. It's, a, it's such a waste. <laughs> I would treat it like a retainer. Retainers don't no, have I, I willpower, that. I, but I you can means. spend willpower on their behalf. Totally get it. All right, so what's your game plan? You're going to go into the warehouse or protest? No, so I definitely not. That's just to get a closer look. We stick to the alleys. We sort of, I want to see if we can get um, an idea of uh, what kind of stuff are in the crates, like how heavy they are, if they sound like weaponry. Okay. Uh, stuff um, like that. Go ahead and roll perception. To kind of give the idea of Sadie failing her stealth, she keeps growling, and you keep going, shh, 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 Sadie, stop that. <laughs> and she really wants to kill some, some hosts, and you, she just keeps growling, and it's, it's throwing you off. You're like, God damn it. <laughs> Sadie, come on. Who trained this dog? Oh, right, me. <laughs> yeah, me and my overzealous hunting. Of... She's like, we just attack them, right? We we kill them, right? This is what we do. <laughs> Any welfare beast talkers like your dog is really bloodthirsty. <laughs> All right, getting up close, seeing what they're transporting is it's hard. They seem to be packed before uh, at this level already. They seem to be right. bringing up these full boxes from somewhere lower. There's a ramp that heads deeper into this warehouse. Um, kind of out of sight that these uh, forklifts are dragging pallets full of these boxes up onto. All right. Um, all right, we're going to get out of here, I think. As you go to leave, a couple men walk out the door and turn and say, you hear that? And they're like, Look, look, and then they see you because you're with Sadie. They're like, oh, hey, dogs, C come here, boy, come here. And even though <laughs> Sadie is not a boy, they're waiting. <laughs> um, she, she starts growling, and they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to run off, and she knows to follow, so I'm just going to run off. All right, you guys run off. Uh, not suspicious at all. They're chase you. <laughs> they're probably not going to catch you, but they're going to chase you. So roll, so you're in Urhan, roll your speed, and then roll Sadie's stamina plus athletics. Okay. It's 11 plus four. You'd have 16 dice if your base speed is 11. Okay. I That's good, and now Sadie, you just need to get not fuck this up. She has a good pull, but it doesn't matter in this this world. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't have the GM powers. Yeah. <laughs> the problem with playing games, you don't get those GM rolls. All right, you pull far ahead, and Sadie pulls ahead as well. Uh, when you guys start to pull ahead, they kind of give up. They're not going to even bother. They're chasing down dogs. One of them had a fall now, and 
with your wolf senses, you get the words animal control. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. We'll run back to the, the tank, the not tank, armored vehicle. Run back to the tank. I'd like to find that one. Shokano's mortal mass is a tank. <laughs> on the street. Ooh, excuse me, sorry. Alright, so... Matt, you're tracking down uh, the scent, and it's... It's to an apartment building. You and Finn get to an apartment building. Uh, it's kind of small and dingy, but the scent leads in there, and you know, you'll be able to trace this it all the way to the apartment itself. All right. Okay, Finn, you ready? Um. Yeah. I mean, it's just a guy. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not worried about this insane individual who managed to scale a building. You know he scaled a building and I followed him and he still ran off. I, I followed him in Gavu. God. Gone. Rings a bell. Ding dong. Also, um... As soon as he enters the building, he's going to use all doors locked. <laughs> How do you expect him to open the door then? <laughs> cool, so you use all doors locked. Uh, no, 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 not right now. Like, soon, as soon as he enters the building, like, and is like, has an idea the guy's in there. Alright, no one answers the door. Uh, can, I take, can I take a look at the door, see if we can jimmy it open? Yeah, go ahead. You're going to get a minus three. Dexterity plus larceny minus three. Oh, that's not a good roll. That's not a good roll at all. No. Okay, let me try. Okay. Do you want to beat Finn? What? Oh, you want to do uh, critical failure in there? Sure, I'll beat Finn. No. <laughs> Fuck you, Hinter. What the hell? Did you roll two successes with one dice? Yep. All right, so the door clicks open. You enter. Uh, it's a pretty small one-bedroom apartment, but sitting on a uh, kind of a lazy boy with the gun pointed at the door his shotgun is Tim. He rises slowly. Hand in the air. Finn, Finn's going to raise his hand. Narrowing. What did he say? He says, you. Me too. What are you doing here? Get out. Finn. I will shoot. You have questions. We have answers. Look, we already know that uh, you quit your job. Yeah. They don't do any real work. What do you mean by real work? He doesn't say anything. He just keeps pointing his weapon at you. Are you leaving? Not until we know you're not going to do anything stupid. Also, I need you both to roll a perception. Minus. Hold on a second. I actually got to roll something. And then I'll tell you.
shit. Minus two. Let's go minus one then with four senses. Yes. One success. Okay. Uh, Finn, you notice it. Uh, the paint on the wall next to you seems like it was freshly done. You can still smell paint in the air. You too, Matthew, since you, you have the wolf senses. But you're able to locate that it's definitely the wall right next to you that has just been painted over. Hmm. Finn is... Uh... God damn it. Okay, he's going he's going to um try and get Can I just take a bead on on the super cup here? Can I roll uh wits and empathy? Uh go ahead. I just wanna Minus... see like he's not trying to to hide anything, so I'm just going to buy his uh, his composure, which will be three. So minus three. Okay. One success. Uh, you get the sense that he's made up, he's resolved, he's steeled himself, that he has found a path to walk, and it might not be the path you want it. You've got a really bad feeling looking into this gun. This guy is not having second thoughts. I'm going to count to three before you leave. One. I'm... Matthew is looking at Phil like... Is there something? Finn is, fuck it, <laughs> he is going to, um... <sighs> okay, let's, 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 let's start the nightmare. He's going to actually step between uh, Super Cup and uh, Matt before shifting to Dalu reflexively and he's going to try to uh just grab and get that gun out of his shotgun out of his hand. I, I you were supposed to talk to him. So that's your thing. <laughs> yeah although although he's although he isn't telling about this like he knows that there's no way to talk this guy down. Uh what's your defense? Um, going to Dumba, going to Dalu. Um, his defense is uh four. If this is silver, we're fucked. <laughs> okay, so you are going to be stunned, Finn, as you take seven points of lethal damage to the head. <laughs> he One, shot two. at your head. He was aiming to stun you. Five, six... So you're seven, seven lethal, uh, you're stunned, and then it's initiative. Uh, yeah. Uh, to be clear, what kind of shotgun does he have? It looks seven, like... Ten. 
you you uh, aren't able to know the exact kind. It looks like some kind of tactical. It's not double barrel. This one has loaded. It's loaded for for more than just two shots. Yeah. One second. I'm looking up his stuff on the feed. One second. Jesus Christ. Right. In isn't the initiative with dexterity? I'm confused. What? I thought the initiative was with plus dexterity plus 1d10. Not... Well, it's not with plus dexterity. I believe it's dexterity plus composure. All right. And he has a merit that helps him with it. A couple merits that help him with it. Who? Him. Super cool. <laughs> oh, super cool. Yeah. <laughs> Does that count as beta as well? Because he because he defended his alpha. I'll give it to you. That gives me willpower, which I fucking need. <laughs> All right, so he fires, and then he goes, and you didn't, you don't know what he's doing, but he stomps somewhere on the carpet right next to his chair. Matthew, <laughs> Finn sees what's happening. Um. Let me see. I need to roll the dice here. So you both take six lethal. Jesus. Uh, as the wall explodes out in shrapnel. Right next to you. Um, it does it with a lot of force. It overwhelms your senses. You both have the stun tilt again, which doesn't really affect Finn since you already had the stun tilt. And that's his action, but since you're both stunned on his next action, he takes off for the window and is going to dive out of it. You, you, let me put the point out on the third floor. He dives out onto a fire escape and immediately starts uh, uh, scaling it down. Now it's back <laughs> to you guys who are just recovering from your stun. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> What do you want us to do? We're not going to do anything. Uh. <laughs> this game was a cup. This isn't a cup. This is no. This is fucking Jack Bauer with David with. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm not even sure what I want to do with this. Are I you kind of want. I kind of no, want. It's mainly all over again. He has so many days we can't do anything. Uh, Finn, are you ha you are at the full lethal on Dalu, aren't you? No, I'm into aggravated. Oh shit! <laughs> Which is why I'm considering going. I was gonna go to Gallo, but it's like, do you want to go go and chase him because we've talked again? No, that ends. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> this is gonna fucking death age, aren't I? <sighs> You know what? He Finn's like he's not he's not gonna chase him. Matthew, are you chasing him? No. I, I said I we can do anything to this guy. All right, yeah. He <laughs> he was ready for someone coming in his front door, so that's where you guys got fucked. Um should have yeah, those so looked. Finn, you have like a bunch of shrapnel injuries that aren't healing properly. After you start, what the fuck uh, you'll hear sirens in the distance. Obviously, someone called the police in this apartment building after hearing a shotgun blast followed by an explosion. <laughs> so the police are on their wait. way. What are you going to do? Wait, wait, wait! Didn't Finn use a gift all the locked of something like that to prevent the escape? Yeah, and the, the window was shut. He just jumped out a shut window. 
Actually, I didn't. I said I was going to when Kuma went inside. Um, did I actually roll for that? Did I? I don't think you roll for all doors locked. I think we already covered this. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm going to burn this and say. I already burned it for you. You're at seven. Don't worry. Yeah, so I just immediately assumed you shut the window and he just jumped out and he didn't care that it was shut. I mean, both both in car out of car to Finn is just this is his what nightmare. <laughs> Why did we even come here? I was supposed I... to talk to him. Oh, fuck, let's go. Yeah, and he wasn't going to talk. <laughs> I tried to disarm him. Instead, he fucking shot me and blew us up. God damn. It's gonna, gonna start picking he's gonna start picking shuttle out of himself. Motherfucker. Uh the police are arriving downstairs now along with there's a no, couple of cruisers. What are you going to do? No. Don't tell me we can't get out before the police arrive. Well, I mean, I told you the sirens are heard, and then you just sit around talking. Yeah, but you know, like that, I mean, we're, it's just been like a couple of turns. We're, we're, as soon as we're out of the window, we're going to scram. Okay, that's fine. I'll, you guys basically exit, and then the police will show up, and you'll, be take, you'll take off down the alleyways, and... You're out of there. At what point did they put the shotgun in their mouth? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know you're gonna fucking do you, you you pushed Finn to activate it again. <laughs> I didn't do that. Jesus Christ. What was your, I, uh... I, I'm genuinely just shocked. I don't know what to say or do at this point. Just... <laughs> what was your triggers okay. again? I forgot. Death threats. It wasn't. I wasn't threatened by death. I was just fucking hurt again. You weren't threatened by death, but death was in the area. Death was in the area. <laughs> I, I I generally have a feeling though that if Finn had followed in Garu, he would have actually ended up death raging. Because that's yeah. just how much that's just how much of a stress is put on him at this point. He knows better. Like, no, I'm not. That guy can fuck off. I'm gonna lick my wounds again. Okay, so uh, you guys head back. Everyone kind of shows up at Matt's apartment about the same time. Nat pulling up in the vehicle. Victor coming in with Sadie. Tigran taking a break and drinking a beer as he watches you guys coming up. Can I, can I take for Lethal off? Can I take 45 minutes for Lethal? Yeah, go ahead. I don't need fucking penalty. Where is Matt's I'm apartment? Down, though. We'll say it's uh, nearby where the warehouse is, in a more populated area, though. It's a, it's a nice little apartment. It's in your journals. You should see it. All right. <laughs> oh, by the way, Victor, you see Finn. He looks messed up. There's blood all over him. Jesus, did you get eaten again? <laughs> Don't. Just fucking don't. I'm guessing it didn't go well with the cut. With the... He's, gonna, he's gonna try to wash off the blood. He's, he's staying in Dalu still. Got like a hood over. None of it looked like ag damage, right? No, it does. He's got ag damage. Oh, shit. <laughs> Be aggravated. Oh. How bad are you off, you... though? What happened? That fucking cop. Well, he's no longer a cop. He's an ex-cop, but he's he's Jack fucking Bauer. Okay, he rid explosives. He tried to shut my fucking head off. Shoot my head off. It's just he's gone. He's he's, he's gone again. Tigran takes another drink and goes, "Should have just killed him." Yeah, that's obviously what we got to do now. Now that he's a hunter. 
That was his. Yep. La- that was our last chance to keep him alive. I mean, you shouldn't have let him go. And we are not Didn't going to go to the ruin to the street to raise even more question and even more I, attention to us. I chased him once before in Garu. It did not end well. You don't chase someone in Garu. You chase them in Erhan. Not that it Could matters that since he was chased down him. in Erhan. Tigran says and takes another drink. Fuck you. <laughs> Fair enough. So, all right, uh, that's another person on the list. The uh, hunt, you have the, a list? He uh, says, wait. looking at you. Yeah, I haven't crossed that off yet. <laughs> oh, you should probably know about Hunter then. Tigran says and looks at Matt and takes another drink. Go on. <sighs> you, uh, get, come on. Get, oh God. Let's get all our shit out right now, because we got to figure out how we're going to deal with it. We got Aslu, Bashilu, this asshole, maybe Hunter's a silver, and Hunter. And then he looks at Finn. You and Matt would probably be best to tell it, because I never really had a big problem with him. And he starts drinking. It's just someone who wanted to control the pack, and Shokano wasn't having any of it, and Finahin got into an argument, and they both got at each other's throats, and well, let's just say he woke up very angrily, saying we we're all out of the pack, and he's on his own, and he might have. Like he might make a life more difficult. Is he still around? How did what? He considers he this his territory, so yeah, he's still around. No, we haven't seen him recently, though. But he'll probably return. Listen, guys, this is ridiculous. You, we need to show. You need to show more respect for. If this guy's on our territory... Shut the fuck up. You don't know anything. You just get here. We have 30 feet to to take care of. All right? Matt. I'm not at all place at once. I I respect you, but this place is falling apart. Yeah, no shit. And I narrated that, so... Don't think I don't know about it. I know you know, but you you can't leave this guy to... Yeah, I cannot leave this guy. I cannot leave the fucking cop with Sever. I cannot leave the Bishal alone. I cannot leave the Haslu alone. I can leave the Hunter alone. All right? Well, I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tigran will speak up and go, well, question is, what do we do first? We've been spreading ourselves trying to tackle everything. I think maybe it'd be best to focus on one thing at a time. I Nat agree. wants like, to go after have, the hunters. We should have a list of priorities. What's the most immediate threat? For now, it's a hunter. After that, it's the host. Immediate threat would be the guy who nearly blew off my face. Hunter? After, uh, one thing. One thing. The hunter might be in league or might actually be Aslu. I'm not sure. They're definitely Aslu near the factory. Not Aslu, sorry, hosts. Um, near where they've been unpacking their cargo. So it could be a two birds with one stone situation. That's 